Hello everyone, this is Sandra at The Whispering Well. So this video is going to be um, a first look at the Poe Tarot. Now this deck was kindly sent to me um, by a lovely lady, um, one of my subscribers. Um, her name's Ellie. She is sometimes in some of the live chats with various people. Um, and she's known on YouTube as Tarot Diva Ellie. So she contacted me and told me that she really likes my channel. Her and her husband really like it. And they really appreciate um, the videos that I put up. And that she would like to purchase something for me from my Amazon wish list. Of course I said this is it's really lovely of you but it's honestly not necessary I, I just am really pleased that you like um, the channel but she said no I would like to purchase something for you so this one was at the top of my wish list so she very kindly had this sent to me and this came through book depository so and it, most of you know my love for Edgar Allan Poe so it's like oh my god I have to have this deck so it says on the back the Poe tarot follows Poe as the main character navigating through the fool's journey while diving deep into the subconscious realms to unveil what only he can through the wisdom of his works and the teachings of the tarot so it's a nice sturdy box it's a magnetic Closure, which I love. Now, for some reason, they put these two pieces of blank card on the top, but and that actually can make it difficult to close the box properly. So, I'm removing those. So, this is the guidebook, it's in a lovely red colour, quite thick. Um, and the artist is Tricia Lee Schaffelt. Um, and this has been published by Red Feather. It's 2021. So we've got the contents. We have four word welcome, introduction, major arcana, minor arcana, suits and courts and bibliography. So we have like an introduction here. And we've got... Um, something that was written by Chris Sempner, curator of the Edgar Allan Poe Museum in Richmond, Virginia. How cool. We have a cat here and welcome. So, yeah, and an introduction. And then we go into the majors. And it looks like we get a full page of the um, artwork. And we with on the cards we actually get you can see here some um words so it the words will be from edgar Allan poe's stories or poems um but it does actually tell you so here we've got there's no passion in nature so demon dem, demoniacally impatient as that of him who shuddering upon the edge of a precipice thus meditates a plunge so, and this is from the Imp of the Perverse. So they're actually telling you which poem or story the verse is from, which is really useful if you don't know Edgar Allan Poe's work. And even if you do, you don't remember where all of, which ones all of these came from. Obviously my favourite ones I will know, but I probably won't remember all of them. So we have insights, keywords for each one like that and obviously um, with our verse as well so that is like that all the way through the book it's nice um, thick paper too now let's see the back don't know so we don't get any spreads or anything which is fine I think what we get is like a yeah, a bibliography of um, 
the quotes and insights and telling you when um, he wrote the different stories or poems. And that's like that for the suits as well, which is really useful. It's really good. I'm glad they included that. So a nice, thick little guidebook. Right, so I have opened these, but all I did was take the, the, the band off um, that was holding them, you know, like the plastic band. And we do have this to help us pull the cards out. Now, I will say, because I'm saying this for anyone that might want to purchase this deck, if you can see on the insides the red colouring. So what's happened is the cards are so tight in the box that the red gilding on the side has started to come off whilst it's in the box because the cards were packed so tightly with these pieces um, and particularly on the corners you can see. So I mean that's just unfortunate, I'm fine with it, it's okay especially as this was a gift. It's nobody's fault. It's just one of those things that happens. And with use, gilding very often wears off anyway. So, But just to mention that, if anyone does consider purchasing this deck. So, anyway, with that said, like I said, there's like red gilding on the sides, but you can see where where it has worn off already but that's because of the packaging I would I would think anyway you could see where it um, had come off in the box but still never mind because the cards are fine otherwise and I'm fine with it so our first card is the fall now the card stock is quite nice so as I said, it's red feather. It is a glossy cardstock, as you can see. These are the backs, which are quite cool because um, it's like matte, and then we've got these shiny, like ravens. So this is a black and white deck, obviously, as you can see. And this is our full. So we've got Poe, and I think Poe is in every card. So we have the magician. I really like these because it's kind of in his facial expressions it's caught that kind of morbidity that there was about Poe as well so you know he's not all happy and jolly um, and that kind of shows in the facial expressions that they've they've shown here we have the high priestess with a raven here, it's very cool. The Empress. The angels whispering to one another can find among their burning terms of love none so devotional as that of mother. It's lovely. We have Poe here for the Emperor, his face with ravens. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten love. Oh, I love his work. The Hierophant. So we have the cat here. The Lovers. Chariot. And yes, it actually says the balloon hoax, I think it is on there, yes, which is where the quote will, will be from. Strength. 
a feeling for which I have no name has taken possession of my soul. Oh, I love it. I love the um, artwork too. Look at the hermit. He's like a crow with a uh, crow or raven with a um, with a cloak on. I love that. He's holding his lantern with his candle in. We have the wheel. So with some of these, maybe, you know, you might have to know some of the Poe stories or know a bit about Edgar Allan Poe anyway, probably to appreciate this deck. I can imagine that this is from the pit and the pendulum. We have the hanged one instead of the hanged man. So this is almost like um, a chrysalis, isn't it? You know, that a butterfly hatches out of. Death. Love that. Look at that death card. The boundaries which divide life from death are at best shadowy and vague. Who shall say where the one ends and where the other begins? Temperance. The devil. Wow, look at that. That's creepy. That's got like a Nosferatu vibe. <laughs> oh, I hope this is the House of Usher. I think it might be. That's one of my favourite um, stories. The Fall of the House of Usher. I'll have to obviously look in the book, but I think it may be, which will be so cool for the tower, if you know the story. The star. Oh, I'm loving these. I know they're quite... I mean, the artwork's not simple, but, you know, you might get what I mean about them being simple. They're not crowded, are they? They're quite, you know, you've got a fair bit of white space. But I don't mind that. I do like black and white decks sometimes, depending how they're done. But this one I really like. I like the artwork and I like the fact that it's Edgar Allan Poe. I mean, anything Poe and I'm there. <laughs> Judgment. Oh, look at this for the world. Is all that we see or seem but a dream within a dream? Love that verse. Ace of Candles. Two of Candles. So obviously the candles would be wands. Three of Candles. Four of Candles. I loved her with a love more fervent than I'd believed it possible to feel for any denizen of earth. How nice is that? Five of Candles. Six of Candles. Seven of Candles. I just love these for the quotes and stuff as well. I mean, I don't think that it's a deck that would appeal to everyone. I think, you know, with this one, you would have to um, like Edgar Allan Poe or his stories and stuff. Nine of Candles. But I think I will be able to read with this. Ten of Candles because I know his works and stuff, you know. I've even got the film that was made about him. <laughs> King of Candles. Oh, it's around the opposite way. I say, okay, so we've got King, Queen, Knight and Page. As I said, I hadn't gone through them, so I didn't realise they were in that order. Knight of Candles, I quite like that. Uh, 
female knight and our page of candles. It's like a jester. Ace of quills. So I think this will be swords. Yes. Two of quills. Believe nothing you hear and only one half that you see. Three of quills. Now for some people this deck might actually be a bit too morbid perhaps. Four of quills or some people might find it depressing. Um, and a lot of Poe's stories were kind of like that. There's a lot of um, premature burials, people being... Um, put into their coffins when they weren't actually dead and things like that um, but for some reason I've always loved them I mean I have all the films all of his um, stories that were made into films that have Vincent Price in love Vincent Price in films is his voice and he's perfect for horror films and he was so amazing in all of the Edgar Allan Poe adaptations so I, I think I have every single one of those films as well Six of Quills not possessed or anything you know <laughs> Seven of Quills Eight of Quills this will be the pit and the pendulum again the nine of quills. Ooh, that's quite creepy. The ten of quills. And then again we're backwards, so we have the king of quills. The queen of quills. The knight of quills. Oops. Some of the cards are a little bit stuck because of the gilding. Page of Quills. Ace of Wells, so this would be our cups. The Two of Wells, that's cool with the Ink Wells. Three of Wells. Four of Wells. Five of Worlds, Six of Worlds, Seven of Worlds, oh wow, look at all these guys, things in his hair and stuff. Eight of Worlds, Quoth the Raven, Nevermore. Nine of Wells. It was a voluptuous scene, that masquerade. Oh, that is a Mask of the Red Death, another favourite of mine. Ten of Wells. And then we have the King of Wells. The Queen of Wells. The Knight of Wells and the Page of Wells. All the cat will cat images will be from the black cat, I would imagine. Probably like this one. Now, so this is Ace of Paws, so the paws will be um, pentacles or discs. Two of paws. Three of Paws. Yes, because the black cat was uh, walled up inside the wall. And in the story, the man has walled up his wife alive behind the bricks. But he'd also, by mistake, walled the cat in. And the cat gave it away by yelling from inside the wall. Four of Paws. Five of Paws. Six of paws, seven of paws, the 
eight of paws. So this is actually the raven um, written on here or a verse from it. So the start of it, once upon a midnight dreary, that's the start of the raven poem. Nine of paws. Ten of paws. Have our king of paws. Queen of Paws, Knight of Paws, and the Page of Paws. So that is the entire deck, guys. This was just like a first look at this deck, and I'm really, really grateful to Ellie for sending me this deck. Thank you so much. Um, I really love it. And I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. Um, what I might do with this one is come back and let you know how I get on with using it. Because I think it's going to work quite well for me. But as I said, it may not be one for everyone. You know, it may not be a deck that is that is that usable for everyone. Um, but it will be interesting to see how it reads. Um, and yeah, and, and this actually came at the perfect time because I've had a few problems and things going on the last few days and this came at just the right time and it came earlier than I expected it to and I was like, oh, wow, the Poe Tarot is here so that put a smile on my face so again, thank you Ellie and I hope everyone's doing well and until next time, I'll, I will talk to you all then